everyone. So today I'm uh, going to talk about how you can accept payments that will allow users to pay what you want. Uh, and what does that mean? Like, let's talk about this. So pay what you want is basically a feature which allows users in your community, maybe your friends group or other people that want to support you to basically decide how much they want to pay you. Um, so just like the name implies it, they can donate money to you or just like send you some money. But the important thing is you do not set a price, they decide. So why is this better than the rest of the ways to accept payments like why is this better than patreon or or why is it better than just like saying hey here's a link to pay me like ten dollars or here's a link uh, on stripe host a checkout to pay me 25 bucks um so i'll tell you this in a second uh and i just want to show you the product first all right so let's get started the first thing i'm going to show you is like how i was doing it up until today so as you can see this is a uh, one of my videos that I've uploaded a couple of weeks ago and basically uh, here in the description at the bottom I always have some kind of like call to actions where it's like hey do you want to support me you can basically click this link and uh, send me some money one time support thing so let's go ahead and click that um, as you can see here I have this like tip page right people basically click on this link and then they can send me five dollar uh, if they feel like it or there's another way they can support me through a recurring payment and that's my monthly support page which is like five bucks a month and it you know it continues for as long as you cancel right until you cancel so although this is pretty nice allowing people to like pay me five bucks a month some people might want to give me one dollar a month some people might want to give me ten dollars a month maybe someone wants to give me fifty dollars a one-time fee so how how would that work like there isn't really a way to do it today i basically came up with a, a, sh a small hack in the past where i would go to like uh, my stripe page here so i go under payments and then i go under payment links and what i would create was basically a new payment link and this was based on a product and my product here was a one dollar donation so this one dollar donation i put a little image this is obviously my test account so feel free to uh to like snoop around for information there's nothing live here and then the next thing i would do is once i had created this product i would go to payments like i shown you go to the payment links page create a new product and then I would basically select the $1 donation and I would say, let customers adjust quantity. So I would allow people to choose between zero or rather one and 99 of these, which means somebody could donate a dollar or 99 times $1. But if you wanted to like say a hundred, well, that's where you kind of hit this, uh, this roadblock because the maximum quantity here is 99. So you can only do 99. So then you would go ahead and you'd create this link. And as you can see, the link is real. It has uh, a way to like, open it up in the tab, you can just paste that code, and there you go, here you just select, hey, I wanna donate, you know, like 99 times a dollar. And now suddenly you're donating $99, which is a cool way to achieve kind of like the pay what you want effect, but without uh, really using a pay what you want approach. So it's kind of like a hack. So that is the old way of doing things using this little trick that I uh, and many other people probably around the world have figured out. So let's go ahead and see how in the new world you would do that. So the first thing you do is again, you click payments and then you go to payment links. And then in payment links, you just hit the new button up here. And now we see there's this like new drop down and it says sell products or subscriptions or let customer choose what to pay so here it's pretty useful because you can basically say uh pay what you want and then like feel free to support my content with a one-time whatever you want payment right and then you can obviously set some settings here for example you can suggest a preset amount so what is the default value maybe it's a dollar right 
or maybe you want to make it a ten dollars and then people can adjust it and then you can also set limits of course some people want to donate one dollar or maybe less and then the maximum amount uh, i don't know what the maximum amount is let's see the maximum you can donate or, or not even donate just pay me is ten thousand dollars a one-time fee then there are some advanced options here this is very nice you can say it's a payment you're maybe booking something or maybe you're donating so right now there's three options here and then you can obviously collect tax provide tax ids and all this other cool stuff i am a huge fan of collecting customers uh phone numbers so i usually take this one because i feel like uh when you own uh, your audience and you own their information, like their phone number, you can establish like almost like a more deeper connection, right? So a, more, a deeper connection because you can actually get their phone number and you can text them maybe some like unique uh, insights into whatever you're creating. Obviously, you can upload an image to make it look prettier. I'm not going to do that right now. I don't have any cool image, but I just wanted to show you what this link would, would look like once you create it. So here we go, it's, it's been created. And now Stripe also gives you the option of having a QR code. So if you press the QR code, it generates a QR code, which you can download this QR code image, you can copy it to your clipboard, or you just copy the URL and you can put this URL somewhere in your, perhaps your YouTube content, or you maybe put it on Twitter, or maybe you send it through an email to like the friends that are coming to visit you this weekend because you're organizing like a grill and you're grilling food and you know, you just want them to like maybe give you some money to pay for all the food you're going to be grilling. And you don't want to be too like strict about it and therefore you just like say, hey, you know what, you guys can uh, give me like a dollar or like a hundred dollars or whatever you feel like, like no, no pressure. Like it's just, it's just a nice gesture. Other people who might be using this are people you know who are like playing music in the street right uh, they can have a QR code and then anyone just scans the QR code and can decide what to donate donate or to pay so here as you can see I said a $10 suggested charge right but you can change it and you can make it $1 or if you're really generous $10,000 and then obviously you would go ahead and uh, you would put an email address, your phone number, which again, this is me choosing to uh, to add the phone number, but you can just decide not to have it. And your card information, 42, 42, 42, when you're in test mode, and that would uh, allow you to, to like go forward with it. So let's do uh, orally add LFGG, that's me, and then phone number, let's give a random phone number like that, and then month, I don't know, something in the future, CBC123, name card, Bob, and then zip code, this one, and now you can basically donate to myself uh, $10,000, which is pretty nice, uh, and here you go. The other thing you can obviously customize is the this page, right, like the thanks for your donation page, it probably makes more sense to redirect someone to another URL, maybe you have a Spotify account where you're like streaming music if you're like a busker on the streets and you want people to go and check your Spotify account Maybe you have a, a custom thank you page Maybe you have some page where you can offer a download hosted somewhere on the web or maybe something else Of course, you can also customize all of the looks here like here. It looks red. It's really aggressive But it doesn't have to look like that. I also don't have a logo for my test account But you could have your own logo or your face or a picture of uh, I don't know a cat something so this is how it works in this in, in this world of pay what you want to support you know a cause or to support a person or an you know an institution whatever so hopefully this gives you a good idea on how you can create pay what you want payment links directly in stripe and you don't really have to write a single line of code to hit to have these, which I think it's like one of the advantages of this uh, push to like having low code or no code platforms, especially as Stripe is building more of these features that are low code and no code uh, for the creators out there, just like me on my YouTube channel, or maybe like you on your Twitter account, your Substack, or whatever else you might be creating, maybe an Etsy shop, right? Um, so there you have it. This video hopefully gives you a good insight into this new feature. And uh, like always, you know, thank you for watching. And if you like this content, you know, feel free to subscribe. Maybe drop a comment in the in the comment box below this video and let me know uh, what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.